Hi, it's Pastor Craig, and uh, today's our second uh, day of our daily devotional on the life of Saul. Yesterday we looked at the terrible decision that Saul made and how it impacted uh, his reign and his kingdom. And today we're going to be looking at a different portion of scripture, and that, that speaks to about disobedience. And uh, in 1 Samuel chapter 15, we're going to be reading portions of the scripture between verses 13 and 22. But they read as follows in verse number 13. It says, When Samuel finally found him, Saul greeted him cheerfully. May the Lord bless you, he said. I have carried out the Lord's command. Then what is the bleeding of sheep and goats and the lowing of cattle I hear? Samuel demanded. It's true that the army spared the best of the sheep, goats, and cattle. Saul admitted, but they are going to sacrifice them to the Lord your God. We have destroyed everything else. Verse number 19, uh, it says, Why haven't you obeyed the Lord? Why did you rush for the plunder and do what was evil in the Lord's sight? But I did obey the Lord, Saul insisted. I carried out the mission he gave me. I brought back King Agag, but I destroyed everything else. Then my troops brought the best of the sheep, goats, cattle, and plunder to sacrifice to the Lord your God in Gilgal. But Samuel replied, What is more pleasing to the Lord? Your burnt offerings and sacrifices or your obedience to his voice? Listen, obedience is better than sacrifice, and submission is better than offering the fat of rams. Today I really want to talk about the second thing that I found in the life of Saul, and that is disobedience. And even more scary are sometimes how we try um, to justify it. Uh, that we say we're doing it for the Lord, um, that we're doing it for the betterment of a person or an individual, and in this case was for the nation, uh, in the sacrifice unto God. You know, the Lord asks specific things of us. You know, he, he makes it very clear what our life should look like, what our, our conduct, what our attitude. And right now in this environment, people are looking at the people of God so closely. Obedience is better than sacrifice. What God wants you to do is to follow Him at His word and trust Him at it and have faith that that is what He is asking of you. That we can be the best example that we can without compromising what God has asked us to do. And so I want to challenge you because when, when, when Samuel challenged David, you'll see that in, he confronted him in verse 24 of that same portion of Scripture. Saul admitted to Samuel, yes, I have sinned. I have disobeyed your instructions in the Lord's command, for I was afraid of the people and did what they demanded. And I think that that's, that's the peer pressure of life, that we don't want to feel like, gosh, did I make a mistake simply because of people that were around me that pressured me into that. Obedience is always better than sacrifice, and I think that's a lesson that we can learn from the life uh, of Saul, is that what are the decisions that you're making today? That, are they going to please the Lord? And more importantly, are they obedient to what he's asked us to do? I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you to do what the Lord has asked you to do, to be a witness. Um, the Bible says it through, through, throughout the word of God that we have to be a witness in this world, that we are the light of the world, the salt of the earth. I pray that during this time that we would be the church of God, would be the example that God is looking for us to be in this time. God, our heads with me, I want to pray with you. Father, I pray for our, our people that are listening uh, to this devotion. I pray that, Father, that we would be the salt, God, that would bring flavor to the people that are around us, God, the light so that someone that is lost in the dark, they could see. I pray, Father, uh, that this would be an opportunity for us to remind ourselves that obedience is better than sacrifice, that you are looking for us to follow you and trust you in the Lord. I thank you for your children, Father, and I pray that this simple, small lesson is a fresh reminder, God, that we must be obedient to what you've asked us to do. Let Saul's life be an example to us that we would do our best. I pray now that the Lord may bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and may he give you peace throughout this week. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.